Hey there, ladies and gents. It is the King of Dauntless, your people's champion. And I'm here today to show you the updated build for the Twin Suns. Now, several of you saw me working on this build, and indeed it is not much of a change from the old build, but it includes some upgrades, including the recycle cell, um, that really make this work really well. Uh, a full guide on the recycle cell will be released uh, later next week, depending on the amount of support that we get for our Donald's content. But for now, I want you to enjoy this build. Let me go through it so that you guys know what to expect. Okay, the build starts out with the Twin Suns, obviously. Recycle cell, cascade cell. Okay, extraction catalyst will be your mod of choice. You can't change anything else here. Discipline will be your Omni Cell. Why? Because this is the most effective. It gives you that efficient interrupt. And although I've tried Tempest, a couple others, when you're talking about max efficiency for the Twin Suns, it has to be Discipline. Okay, you've got Scar and Defiance with an Etheric Attunement Cell here. Okay, you have Drake Scale, Draft Scale Helmet with a Berserker Cell. You have Fraxis Shadow with a Cunning Cell. You have Malkyrion's Grasp with a Recycle Cell and you'll have the wolf paws with a berserker cell. Now, what I'm gonna tell you is that all of this, okay, is designed in a particular way so that you can actually change either between berserker plus six or predator plus six. Now, if you want full predator on this build, take the stride of thorns and put a cascade cell here. This will give you predator plus six and berserker plus three instead. A simple modification, I wanted to make it as easy as possible because you can choose, you can choose, all right? If you go Berserker plus six, all right? You, now, from going from plus three to plus six Berserker gives you 15% additional damage. Going from plus three Predator to plus six Predator gives you a 21% increase in damage, all right? So you're losing out on 6%. However, um, Berserker is more consistent, especially if you take a lot of hits. So you have to decide between the two which is more worthwhile for you. Okay, that is your choice uh, with this build. It is genuinely up to you. Now, overall, the perks that you're going to get are plus six etheric attunement because with this one, you want to proc cascade as much as possible. All right. Um, and it also, you can contribute through lantern damage as well as shielding yourself. Berserker. Well, this one gives you 35% damage bonus. Now, instead of showing the Predator version, which I prefer, I'll show the plus 6 Berserk version, which although it loses 6%, is still very efficient. Cascade plus 6, invulnerability, healing, damage, this is everything you need. Uh, the alternative, which was on the previous Twin Suns build, was to use Toughness with Tenacious as and Koshize as your self-healing, but... Um, I think that for this particular style and to gel well with Recycle, Cascade and Etheric Attunement are superior than the defensive cells. Okay, um, we've got Cunning for additional critical strike chance and damage, Recycle up to plus six for additional damage, now this works really well, and Predator, uh, Evasive Fury is at three, this one cannot be changed, and Predator is at three, like I said, you have a choice between six Berserker or six Predator. Okay, now. Let's get into it. Now, I've built this with some survival in mind. However, take note that uh, if you do want to do well with this particular build, all right, as always, as with all my builds, aim for behemoths that are three to four levels above you in the early stages and in the later stages, early stages meaning one to, one to 10, and later stages meaning anything above level 10, you wanna aim for behemoths that are two to three levels above you three levels above you is the sweet spot for efficient leveling all right always remember that don't take a build too far because there's no point you don't gain any experience points if the behemoth is more than five levels above you all you get is a couple of bragging rights and nobody's going to care about you any because no, literally nobody cares about other than cosplay several of the channels at the top tier nobody cares it gives a shit about them all right nobody cares about those channels so I make my stuff practical for Slayers. That's why survival is always included. Uh, meta people can obviously go where the sun don't shine. But what I will also state is that we do stress testing. Whenever I showcase a build, I do go to an extreme. Why? Because this is to show you the absolute best performance of the build in extreme conditions. All right. So we'll face the Karabakh first. Not much of an extreme condition considering the fact that it has low hit points, but we'll... 
If we have time, we'll also take on the Rift Stalker. Now, I got very lucky with an early proc here. So, Recycle will not take away from your uh, Cascade buffs anymore. So, just remember that. You can freely use your Cascade buffs. What you want to do is you want to aim for one part. Alright, and just keep aiming for that one part. Recycle will continuously trigger even if you have your lantern on, whatever else. Just keep aiming for that one same part. Alright? This is the fastest way to actually get get your kills done. Now, what I would normally do is I'll dodge through any attacks that I can dodge through. Okay? Until the behemoth does this. Once they, once they give me an interruptible situation. Alright? I will go get my recycle to plus six now take note the mag bombs even if you spread them around different parts will not affect recycle allowing you to take advantage of mag bombs power while still retaining your recycle buff all right now you just focus completely on beating this down all right it's almost done and you'll notice you've got plenty of shields healing coming up so you don't have to worry too much stay close to the behemoth which is where you'll be at your most effective and you will beat it down all right, we're gonna, we do actually have time. So we'll go beat down the Rift Stalker, all right? Or actually, you know what? I don't want you, I don't want to drag out the video either with combat demonstration. So let me go to this Koshai for a second because you've already seen it at, a, at an extreme anyway. Let me show you how effective this is when a behemoth is three levels above you, which is ideal for leveling. All right, please pay special attention to this. Now, with your um, with your discipline, you'll actually be able to stagger behemoths really well. And don't be afraid of dodging even with your normal dodge. You don't always have to use the dodge uh, from the uh, Twin Suns because, alright, even your normal dodge will take two seconds off the, um, the abilities, alright, with the extraction catalyst that you have. That is the most important thing. For a second, almost had a Freudian slip and couldn't remember their names, but you know what? I'm just glad that uh, <laughs> I'm not that bad. Okay, now you can get caught in a bit of a situation if you end up having to uh, reload when the enemy is attacking, but that's okay. Sometimes it is made up for by the fact that you can quite literally just enjoy yourself and spread bombs while invulnerable. Now that's another major, major benefit of Cascade, which is what I love. Now you won't really be able to knock this guy down, unfortunately. Alright, take note that that is a thing that you have to be aware of. Okay. But your Twin Sun's evasion can get you through it, so don't even worry about it. Just focus on a single part, whatever that part may be. Okay, break it down. Give the creature a little shocking surprise. Evade plentifully plentifully. I don't even think that's a word, but actually it should be. But anyway, whatever you do, there you go. Okay, creature is done. It is that simple to run this build. It is that easy. Things will just die as long as you're operating it correctly. Okay, so use plenty of evasion, stack up your recycle, and then bombard a creature. As long as the creature is about three levels above you, you're not going to need potions. You're still going to be leveling very efficiently. Okay? Now, if you want Catalyst in this build, it is actually possible to do so. It is actually possible to put it in. But you will have to restructure your Lantern perks mostly and uh, give up on Cascade. Okay? So, well, sorry. You will have to restructure your Lantern per uh, your lantern perks accordingly and give up on um, Etheric Attunement specifically. Okay? Just remember that. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Actually, you know what? I should probably do the Catalyst edition. One second. Okay, as always, adding Catalyst to this build is really simple. Instead of the Drascale Helmet, you will use the Erskas. Oh, crap. I didn't put down a Supply Crate. Sorry, my failure. Okay, now we can modify it. Okay, if you want to put a Catalyst into this build, all right, what you can do is you can very quickly, because one of the cat one of the Etheric Attunement cells is in your Lantern, so the Drascale Helmet will change over to the Urska, or you can use the Thrax. It's up to you, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it with the Urska, all right? You will add in a Catalyst Cell here. You'll put a Catalyst Cell in your Lantern, okay? 
And up here, your Cascade Cell will be swapped over for the Berserker that you missed out on. This keeps the build exactly the same, while allowing you to use Catalyst instead of Etheric Attunement. Alright, so if you want to add Catalyst to this build for Tonics, this is how you do it. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, especially liking the stream. That is super, super important. If you like the stream, it pushes up higher, us higher. It pushes us up higher in the algorithm, which of course helps us, you know, reach a wider audience and give a bigger finger to the official Discord. Okay. Uh, I'm also gonna thank all of the people that make these videos possible, i.e., our channel members. They are fantastic individuals. All right, gonna give them some love right now. But if you want to support us, other than just liking, sharing, and subscribing, the other free method is just going to Spotify and listening to my music. The link is in the description of the video. Or you can donate, send super chats, or super thanks, and of course, join as a channel member. All of this really helps us keep the channel running and make more content for you, okay? Uh, starting right from the top, I'm gonna thank DeathDawning982. He's at Plus Ultra and our top fan right now. Zack NFG, Old Mr. Cream Buff, Rogue Assassin, Jerry Fast, I'm Step. They're all prestige robots. Thank you guys so much. In terms of our honored robots, we have Triple D326, Dariverse, Cordova2182, Maze, Che D12, Stefan Geyer, Coffee Eat, Underpaid Enlisted Soldier, I'm Peeps, Syed Asad Bakari, Pringle Bread, Tuan Gwen, Miss Eve, Tyler King, Brian Lancaster, Coda CMF, Kami SMH, Jammer Boy, Conrad C, Nate the Great, Curtis Sussler, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, <clears throat> Lady Neo, and Greasy Burger. Thank you to all of our cool bots as well. And I'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you.